In this NLF24 video, I'm going to show you how transmitter, which is this one, and receiver, which is this one, work with um, PWM motor. This is ESC, electronic speed controller, connected to um, uh, this motor. As you can see, it is rated at 1000 kV. And uh, we also have uh, connected to the transmitter this uh, servo motor. So one servo motor, which should be enough for uh, guiding something like a um, boat, a drone boat, and one motor, which it will be like an airboat and the transmitter. So here, what I will do is I will uh, provide electricity now uh, through uh, this USB port so that you will be able to see on screen uh, the serial monitor. Here, I'm going to turn on the serial monitor. Uh, so, uh, first I will show you um, what uh, the serial monitor shows without turning on, uh, without turning on the, um, the motor, and then I will turn on the motor, so to show you how it actually works. So, uh, again, I just turned on the receiver, I didn't turn on the motor, as you, as you can hear, there are no sounds here. And I just want to show what the serial monitor shows. So here I will start uh, <clears throat> moving my uh, joystick at A0. This one is connected to A0 on uh, Arduino Nano. Okay. Good. So here, watch. Uh, as you can see, uh, once I start moving it, we mean to get some data uh, from 128 to 255 and if I go all the way down it's going to be zero so usually my joystick is 128 like the middle position and going up to 255 and going down to zero so uh, it, the way it is done is there is a mapping function here in the program uh, I can show it to you. For example, uh, here. Uh, there is a mapping function which, uh, here, you can see this here. Uh, mapping from 0 to 123. Oops, no, not this one. Yeah, this one. Uh, mapping from uh, motor from 0 to 123 which is uh, positions for the joysticks to 0 to 255, which is a good uh, output for two PWM motor. OK. So uh, that is what uh, the receiver, the data that uh, the receiver gets. Uh, number from 0 to 255. And now uh, what I will do is I will turn on the motor. And you can hear the sounds, right? the motor starts kind of uh, rotating. Now what I should do is I should calibrate it. See, when the sound is faster, it, and then I go down with my joystick a little bit here. I need to calibrate it first. It should be good now. As you can see, it is moving and I'm moving the joystick a little bit. It's this one, the left joystick connected to A0. Here, I stop it. Yeah. Move it a little bit more. Then more. This is like a very low revolutions. The joystick is at the like zero position. If I bring it down a little bit more, it stops. 
Now, if I move this joystick, this one, the right joystick, uh, you will be able to see that uh, the servo motor is moving 180 degrees. And I can actually have both. Here, I, I bring it uh, this to zero level, like 128, position of 128. You can see the motor is moving at a slow speed, and I will be moving the, the joystick now. So I will stop the motor now. And the joystick is also, uh, I mean, the, the zero motor is also like stop. I can move it off. So uh, here is the story. Basically, it works now. And um, of course, uh, when I operate it independently, what I can do is I have this uh, converter uh, from uh, this voltage, which is 7.4 should be, going into here. So this is like a $13 converter, not expensive. Waterproof, actually, this thing. So, uh, basically, I achieved uh, the results I was seeking for. The code will be provided. See, look at the uh, description below. Thank you.